Hello everybody and welcome back to the Dragon Quest 8 Let's Play. I'm your host, Saigon. Uh, last time we fought Calamari and reached Peregrine Key, which is where we are now. So what we're doing today is we're going to be exploring Peregrine Key as well as uh, some of the areas outside, out in the Mayela region. We should also be getting the Thief Key. Or at least getting it thrown into the pot. Some uh, some strong suggestions that we're going to be needing the thieves' key shortly. No, 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 no. I just wanted to break your pots. I don't I don't really care what you have to say. I'm gonna throw this at your head. Ha! And I got a medicinal herb for it. Fantastic. Sometimes this feels like a waste of time, and then later on I remember that it means not having to buy near as much, like, silly little things. And occasionally you stumble on something really useful. Alright, um, so as far as things we need to save up for, we already have a bronze knife, which we do need in order to make um, the Thief Key. We already have one, so we're not going to worry about it. Thorn Whip. Whips are really cool on Jessica, but I used them on my last playthrough. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have Angelo on swords, so I think I'm going to wind up putting Jessica on wands as her primary. Iron Lance is pretty awesome. The Farmer's Scythe, uh, while we're limited on the number of scythes in the game, we can make we can take two of these to make an Iron Axe. So we are going to be want to be purchasing two of those. Don't really have the money for it right now. It's okay, we're going to get some grinding done. Can I go down here? All we need to make that key are some darn iron nails. I wonder if somebody around here has iron nails for us. Certainly not this old guy. You look a little... Uh... <laughs> oh, oh, you're the dude from the boat. <laughs> You're pretending to be a thief, but you're actually not. Interesting. Sweet. It's an iron nail. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Hint, hint, wink, wink. <laughs> Subtle wink. So, we've got our first alchemy recipe here, not counting the, uh, thieves key. So, two herbs together will make us a better herb. <laughs> Oh, Ms. Red. I love Ms. Red. Red is awesome. We'll be meeting her later. All right, so. Alchemy Pot. Now, the Alchemy Pot in Dragon Quest VIII is a, uh, a somewhat rough version of the Alchemy Pot from Nine. In Nine, you would just throw your stuff in, and it would pop back out. In Eight, we have to wait for it to cook. 
there have been some suggestions to me that I use a game shark code uh, to speed it up and make it instantaneous. Um, two things. One, I don't own a game shark and I don't really care to. I, I pretty much never use cheats. Um, two, all that time that items spend cooking is time that reminds me that I can be grinding. So it doesn't really bother me too much because usually I forget to grind. Or just avoid it altogether. Alright. So we're throwing in the bronze knife. We're throwing in an iron nail. Hit square to start. We're going to let this cook for a while. And when that's done cooking, we are going to have ourselves a thief key. Let's see what kind of equipment Jessica's wearing. She already has a whip. You know what we can do? We can have Yangus give her the slime earrings. They're going to do more good on her than on him. Although, fortunately, she doesn't start at level one. Glad they did away with that. And let's also take a look in the bag and see what kind of items we have. Uh, Seed of Life. Let's put that on Jess. Because she's a bit low in the hit point department. We want to fix that. Gold Bracer does the same thing as the slime earrings. Seed of Agility. Give that to Yangus. Try speeding him up a bit. Seed of Defense. Let's also put that on Jess. Hello, madam. Oh my god, I'm too broke. <laughs> We're full up anyways. It'll be fine. We'll be fine. See if there's anything we can find around here. There's a boomerang. Not much else of interest. Like, yeah, there's other stuff, but... All right, let's check out stairs before we head outside. There are some chests of interest in the region. As well as new monsters to fight, of course. Lovely up here. Mm, well, for the sake of this game, no. They're the coolest of the cool. How totally cool. what this lad has to say. Yes, yes, bookshelves, alchemy! Alchemy and bookshelves. Okay, all right. All right, all right, all right. Yep, yep, bronze knife. Gotcha, hint, hint, wink, wink. Already taken care of, my friend.
curious. No? I was wondering if Jessica came with any points to spend. I know I have stuff that I could sell so I could stay at the inn, but honestly, I'm at full health right now, so it doesn't matter too much. Looks like there's magic water, stone axe. There's a bunny tail in the area. Some of the stuff we can't get on our first trip, we might have to come back when we can fly or have um, better keys. But first off, there's a chest over in this direction that I know we can get. What's up, horsey? Dinglings! See, Jess knows Frizz and Sap at the moment. Her whip will hit a group of enemies. And not for very much, so we're just going to put her on Frizz duty, I think. Actually, well, we'll, we'll finish it this round anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Now, Jess can become a monster with that whip. Not really worth concerning ourselves with at the moment, though. There's the chest we're looking for. File of magic water. We still don't have a world map yet. Nope. I think that's coming soonish, though. Uh, Jess, how about you frizz? Oh, she got put to sleep anyways, it doesn't matter. Want to pick up a wand for her as soon as I can. wakes back up. Not terrible. Actually, you attack this one. Just frizz again. We're going to need just shy of 2,000 gold to get those scythes so we can make Yangus an Iron Axe. So I will be doing s some grinding off screen. Some of you may agree with that. Some of you may disagree. Um, I'm going to try and do most of the exploring on screen, but like, you know, the hardcore run in circles grinding, I'm going to keep that off screen. There's a treasure chest in this direction. <gasps> Slime Bess! That's what I thought. I kind of figured Yangus would be able to take him out on one shot on his own. Oh, Jess even can. That is just sad for the slimes. When Jessica's taking you out in one hit? Yay! We 
primeiro Thieves Key. We have obtained a Thieves Key. All right, uh, let's do two herbs for the sake of completion. Also, it won't take very long. Again, the main goal right now before we head off to Maella Abbey is just to get the, uh, the Iron Axe for Yangus. Yep, yeah, there it is. Looks like we can indeed reach it. And it looks like there's another chest over off to the east of Mayala Abbey that requires the thief key. We can get into that now. Was that another stone axe? What am I going to do with two of those? actually use too much of Jessica's magic my first time through the game. She was mostly just a whip user. The magic was really only for elementals. Ah, uh, nice try, Jess. Making gold at a decent clip, at least. Alright, let's head back to the port. Can go ahead and zoom there. Or Peregrine Key. Zoom back to the key is what I think I was looking for. There are some infamous monsters in the region. Let's see, we've got a brownie named Mullet Mallet. We have a golem by the name of the Bricklayer. We have a armor knight going by the name of Hollow Knight. And we have an evil tree called the Root of Evil. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Alright, first things first, let's go check out those chests that the poor kiddo couldn't open. Thank you for stealing my stuff. Yay, it's a mini metal. Two hundred gold coins. Awesome. You know what? There were some chests back in Fairbury that we couldn't open. Let's go back there now. I know there is definitely one in the armor shop. Can't recall if there's one behind the inn or not. Let's check. I think it might have just been bags. Yep, just bags. Might be an alchemy recipe on the bookshelf, though. 
Nope, no bookshelf there? All right, whatever. It looks like a bookshelf to me. checked. Damn it. Huh. Sounds like somebody made a mistake. I've seen that book already. I don't remember you being up here, though. Nope, nope, we're good. <laughs> You're a tutorial NPC. Well, since we're here... We do need the weapon shop to be open. We got a stick. It's a sword type. Seed of magic, giving it to Yangus. I'm sure there are locked chests in other places. Uh, we'll go back and get them later. Right now, I just kind of want to get back to the Maella region. And we'll go check out these other chests out here. Of which there are a few. Uh, I also know that the brick layer is out here. Oh, hey, cool. That would be our alchemy pot. Let's see if we can't make some cheese. See if this does anything for us. Nope. You know, we're not going to worry about it right now. <clears throat> I will uh, hunt down some useful alchemy recipes to keep me going. In the meantime, let's head after some of these chests. Bullfinches! They're not asleep right now.
They hit for a healthy amount, don't they? We're gonna need to drop some money into the armor shop while we're here too. Ooh, boop, boop, boop. We don't want to fight him. We want the treasure chest that's near him. Let's uh, see if we can scoot past him. All right, treasure chest over there. Have just psych up for her whip. Ouch. Ouch. Everybody's ganging up on me. Heal up. Yangus can hit the chain irons. Jessica, hit the chain irons. That was pathetic, Jessica. <laughs> Actually, no. You healed Jess. Yangus attack. Jessica spell. Oh, no, that was supposed to be Frizz, damn it. Oh, they got taken out anyways. We're good. We're okay. Let's see, what stats were we going after for Yangus again? Uh, I know under clubs, we wanted Monster Masher. That's at 32 points. Uh, the Axe is going to be the one that we're going to be getting all the way up to, like, 82 points. We don't really need 100 points in it. Uh, Typhius' Maul is cool, but you use it so rarely, I've found. Uh, Humanity. We can do Nose for Treasure next at 16 points. Not that amazing. War Cry, not that amazing. Share Magic is useful. He gets Kabuff. We definitely want to raise his humanity. You know, let's get his axes up to 26. Because that'll increase his crits. Right, you unlock that chest. Ooh, a feathered cap. Well, this just has the lowest defense. Let's give it to her. Bunches of chain irons. Attack, 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 frizz, attack. Go, go, go. Dead. 
dang it. Frizz, Jess, frizz. Just ignore what I tell you and cast frizz. Except not now, because now it's going to get finished off anyways. No, darn it. I'm gonna keep screwing that up. Oh, oh, who's dancing? Nope. Lost some MP. Oh, not to Jessica. Dang it. There she goes. Learn crack and a massive amount of points so she can play catch up. Staff skills. Ooh, accelerate at three points. We definitely want that. Kasap at seven points. She's amazing. She has tons more MP when equipped with staves. Yeah, staves are going to be awesome. We, we are totally using staves. Staves and sex appeal, mates. Staves and sex appeals. So let's go ahead and get her all the way up to Kasap, which is at seven, and dump the other two into sex appeal. Acceleratal is such an important skill to have. In every Dragon Quest game, it is good. Can I not get over that? Might have to find another way around. Hell, Hornets! Yowza! No, you guys stop that. Ah. That is not good. Stop it. Oh, they're in two separate groups. That's dumb. That lowers the usefulness a bit. Why are they picking on him? Do you have a moon warp bulb? Nobody has a moon warp bulb on them.
course she doesn't. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome back, Sagan. Please don't die, Jess. Don't die, Jess. Don't die, Jess. Ha ha ha! Oh god. Alright, so. Uh, you need to get healed, Sir Hero. Jessica needs to get healed. Yangus can take a hit. Um, Jessica, try to hit something with your whip. <laughs> well, your eyes were shut, you dork. Well, that fight was a little bit rougher than it needed to be. But you know what it did do? It gave us a good stopping point, because we need to go back to the inn. We're getting close to 40 minutes. Skill points on the hero. Spear skill. Thunder thrust. Versus brave. Cures all party members of the effects of sleep and paralysis. Let's go ahead and get tingle first. Which we will get at 16 points in courage. Tingle is good to have. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. This is the Dragon Quest VIII Let's Play. As usual, I'm your host, Saigon, and uh, I hope to see you guys next time. Take care.